Hey everyone, and welcome back to another discussion on understandable English. On discussion days, I choose a new topic and I give you new words and vocabulary to practice with. Then, I tell you my thoughts and opinions on the topic, and you can share yours in the comments down below. As always, I'll help you correct your mistakes so you can learn. Today's topic is Halloween, a classic American holiday. But first, let's take a look at some Halloween words and vocabulary for you to practice with. Starting with costume. A costume is clothing that we wear to be a specific character or theme, often during Halloween. When he put on his costume, he became a scary monster. But remember, in some languages, a costume is like a suit, something you wear that is beautiful or nice for a wedding or a special event. In English, that's not the case. A costume is always something funny or scary. Next, we have to dress up as someone or something for Halloween. To put on a costume for Halloween. This year, I want to dress up as a turtle for Halloween. Trick or treat, or go trick or treating. A Halloween tradition where children go from house to house asking for candy or playing pranks. All the kids went trick or treating and came back with lots of candy. Spooky, a little bit scary, often used to describe Halloween related themes. Ooh, don't go over there, it's a little bit spooky. I'm scared. Spooky is like frightening, but it's normally not as scary. For example, spooky makes me feel scared, but frightening makes me scream. A spooky film or movie makes me feel scared inside, but a frightening film or movie makes me scream and want to run away. As always, a list of these new words can be found in the description under the video. Now, what is Halloween to me as an American who grew up celebrating this holiday? Well, Halloween is a unique holiday that played a big role in my childhood as well as the childhoods of many other Americans. From my early childhood, I remember dressing up in costumes, I remember carving pumpkins, I remember making jack-o'-lanterns with my mom and my dad and my family. I remember having fun with my siblings as we ran around the neighborhood looking for candy and playing pranks. For me, I have many associations with Halloween. And not all of them are spooky or scary like you might think. First of all, when I think of Halloween, I think of fall or autumn. The leaves turn beautiful colors, they fall from the trees, the weather is cool but not too cold. And with my family, we used to go to the apple orchard to pick apples, to drink apple juice or cider, and to make apple pie. I lived in a very rural place, that is a place that is not a city. So around us, there were always many farm fields with very tall plants of corn. The farmers would cut a maze or a labyrinth into their corn fields, and we would try to go through, like an escape room or a quest. Many people, adults and kids, all go to these mazes to have fun. It's like a big puzzle, you just have to find your way out. Sometimes these mazes were spooky or haunted, as we say, which means they were very scary inside, but not all of them. We would also go to the pumpkin fields or pumpkin patches and try to find the biggest possible pumpkin that we could pick up as kids. Both for kids and adults, it's always so much fun. Trick or treating or when kids go around to different houses to ask for candy and to play pranks was another big part of Halloween for me and for all the kids I knew. Every year, my siblings, that is my brothers and my sisters, would choose who we want to dress up as for Halloween, that is, what costume we want. Then, my mom would use her magical hands and make this costume for us. A lot of people think that Halloween costumes must be spooky or scary, but that's not always true. You can be whatever you want. You could be a pop star, a turtle, a unicorn, or a spooky scary skeleton. You can just be whatever you want. In my neighborhood, or the streets in the area where my house used to be, all the kids would go out as soon as it was dark and the sun went down, and we would look for candy. We would go trick-or-treating. Sometimes, one of our neighbors would build a big spooky cart filled with hay and take all the kids around the neighborhood looking for candy. There were scary pranks and candies all night long. It was quite a blast. When we finally got home after trick-or-treating with our buckets full of candy, the kids would stay up late counting all the candy they had and we would try to trade each other to try to get the best candy or the ones that were our favorites. 
Mom and dad always said we shouldn't eat the candy before going to bed, but how could you not? As a child with a pile of candy in front of you, there's no way I was gonna go to bed without eating a bunch of candy. But as an adult, Halloween has changed. It's still lots of fun, we just celebrate it a little bit differently. Many adults still dress up in costumes and go to Halloween parties with their friends or colleagues. Other adults will stay home, dress up in costumes, hand out candy, or play pranks on the kids who come looking for candy. In summary, Halloween is not just a spooky scary holiday like it might seem, but rather it's a celebration of fall and of good times with the people who are close to you, much like many other holidays we see around the world. So I've told you about Halloween, now you tell me. Do you have any holidays that are similar to Halloween in your country? What do you do during these holidays? Do you have any specific memories from your childhood from these holidays? How is the American Halloween perceived in your country? Do you think such a spooky scary holiday is healthy for kids? Why or why not? Would you like to participate in an American Halloween festival? Why or why not? Who would you dress up as? As always, don't forget to write your answers to these questions in the comments below, and I'll fix your mistakes. That way, you can learn. The new vocabulary and questions can be found in the description under the video, so you can practice with them. If you learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss the discussion on understandable English. As for now, have a wonderful day. Toodles.